Meghan Markle has inspired Prince Harry to be an airy-fairy hippie after the Duke of Sussex gave an astonishing speech this week calling for children to take action on climate change, radio host Dan Wooden has said. Prince Harry has turned into an airy-fairy mumbo-jumbo spouting and liberal-thinking sort of hippie, which is in stark contrast to his brother Prince William, according to Mr. Wooden. The radio host criticized the Duke of Sussex, 34, who took a helicopter from London to Birmingham on Monday, two days before he gave the critical speech on climate change. Harry's speech for We Day was part of the initiative to encourage young people to be a force for a positive social change. The powerful speech focused on a range of topics, including ambition, mental health, and climate change. The talk radio host said, There was this astonishing speech at the We Day conference where Prince Harry took aim at the media, took aim at the older generation and essentially didn't really provide too many facts. It is the type of thing you see at a New Age conference in America. But then having gone on about the need to fight for the environment and save every blade of grass, what does Prince Harry do just two days before? Oh, rather than catching the very ecologically sound train to Birmingham he decides that it is fair enough to get on a private helicopter despite calling out the need for climate change. In response to the claims, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said it was likely Meghan had helped Harry with his speech. Mr. Fitzwilliams then explained how it was rather strange Harry would have taken a private helicopter just days before a key speech on climate change. But the royal expert said the royal family often take whatever form of transport that is most convenient for their agenda on a particular day, adding, usually the modes of transport that the royals choose are for a purpose. During the speech, the Duke of Sussex focused on climate change and said, climate change is a humanitarian issue not a political one and one where we've been far too slow in waking up to the issues and acting on the damaging impact our ways of living are having on the world. We now have the facts, the science, the technology, and the ability to save not just our planet, but ourselves. The Duke also said, I know you don't sit back and wait for solutions, you take action and create them. Our world's greatest assets are threatened every day, every forest, every river, every ocean, every coastline, every insect, every wild animal. Every blade of grass, every ray of sun is crucial to our survival. Prince William was instead in Blackpool this week with Kate to visit some of the resort's more deprived areas. William referenced the resort's high unemployment rates but also highlighted brilliant schemes in the area including a new enterprise zone. The royal couple also visited a local authority-owned housing project, which involves the purchase of run-down properties and renovating them to be rented.